message up in a way. Looking at the illustration before me, what I see with my natural eyes reminds me of a beach setting. We have a fence, we have a little grass, and we have umbrellas with a nice sky that's divided. We have one side that looks like it's in the cloud or storm or nightfall. The other side, you see, bright, sunny, with white clouds. We see the grass that's growing up in front of a fence. And behind the fence, there are umbrellas, beach umbrellas. Now these beach umbrellas to me represent service. Service, serving others. What is it? It's an umbrella. What does an umbrella do? It provides shade and it provides shelter and it covers whatever it is underneath of it. The fence, the fence to me represents is a look of bamboo. It is whatever it is, it's a fence. A fence separates or a fence protects or it is a line drawn. It could be public or it could be private. When we in service, it's either public or it's private service, but it's a service. The grass represents to me something barren and we always see grass on the field. Somehow grass grows. Something in the soil. What is in your soil that causes you to grow? What's in your soil that causes you to die? And some, some grass has flowers in it. A surprise sense of color, something that draws your attention. And then let's look at the clouds. It's bright, it's clear, it's blue, it's peaceful, and it's also storming. And it could be dark. It seemed like it can just be an overcast on one side and sunny on one side. It looks at the same way of service. Are you serving others like there's a storm coming up? Or do you serve others like a bright sunny day? Do you serve giving comfort? Do you serve giving protection? As you're going forward, are you willing to go above whatever stops you? whatever is ahead of you that's preventing you from serving. Up and away where? Are you going up or are you going away? Are you going up forward with service or are you going away from service? You have a decision To be a cheerful server or be a negative server? Angry, boastful, electric. Or do you flash off? Are you dangerous? Or are you peaceful? It's a blend of both. Are you a blend of both? Up in the way. It's a choice you have to make. Are you up and away from your problems? 
Are your problems in darkness or is your problems in light? You have an opportunity to choose. And how you look at things that are happening around you. Up and away. With your purpose. Making a difference. Bringing light. Demonstrating hope. Prosperity. A future. Understanding that it's not always smooth sailing. Also, you can be hindered and stop at the fence and go no further. Do you have the privilege or the right to go ahead, to go over any obstacle that's standing in your way? And are, we, are you able to see, stand still and see, that maybe that fence is not a, it's not hard to see or hope through it? You look real close. That's like a bamboo fence. You can see through it. So you have the ability to rise above it. If you choose to. If you ask permission. Mm. It's so amazing what can be revealed by looking at a picture. And you can't look at a picture or in life and not stand back and ask yourself, what do you see? What do you see through your natural eye? What do you see through your spiritual eye? I believe we all have the Holy Spirit dealing with us or inside of us. If we believe, if we believe, we're able to see beyond what our natural eyes see. And if we believe, we're able to discern and hear what the Spirit is revealing through what we see. And art is a perfect way to illustrate a message or reveal a message, a discerning message to the beholder who's ever looking and listening at that still, quiet voice up and away. What do you see? Can you discover the word of God again for yourself? Up and away. Discover the word of God again through the eyes of an artist.